This is a really short video about the Crumble controller. This is a tiny little board controller, you can see my finger there. All right, that's tiny but incredibly powerful and does all sorts of fun things. But what's really great about it is that it's designed so that you don't have to use hundreds of resistors and all sorts of other bits and pieces which can make that sort of level of programming for for key stage two, you know, a lot more of a faff. So let's have a look at one um, plugged in over here. This is my uh, crumble. We've got a little USB uh, going to my laptop. <laughs> okay, and it's got its own little uh, programming language, uh, crumble, that you can program in. It uses very standard drag and drop blocks, very similar to scratch and you know if children have done very simple sequence work or even better if they've done sort of things like um, uh, selection within a loop um, and any input and output work then they can make all sorts of things here's my little example here and what I've got plugged into this is I've actually plugged in a, a very cheap PR, a PIR sensor which is an infrared sensor um, and I've plugged it into power on the board, which is on the, these uh, green and, and blue ones here, and then the, sorry, a green and grey ones there, and then the little blue lead there is actually giving, it allows me to give it the control. In fact, they've got an A, B, C, and a D input and output controls there, so you can give instructions to things. And I've also got a little piezo element, which is like a little buzzery thing that I've got wired up over here. Now let's have a look, look at the programming here. And what I've said is if that little uh, PIR sensor is detecting greater than 125, and what they've done at the moment is they've got this de um, detecting from 0 to 255. So that's sort of, you know, around about in the middle range so if it detects changes in uh, infrared okay then it's going to set off my little piezo element which is that B high just for two seconds and then if it doesn't detect any changes it'll go back to low so we've got that if and else loop okay so let's just see if we can get the, the software started So it started. I'm going to move really, really slowly around here because I try not to set it off. Okay. And let's see. There we go. Put my hand in the middle and you can probably hear the little piezo element. And there we go. The infrared's being set off again. So, now I've had this working with motors working. I've had switches working on it. Um, you can, of course, unplug the little program because the program is stored on the board. And as long as you've got the battery plugged in to, to power anything that needs the batteries, then it will run independently. I think this is just going to be a most fantastic junior maker device out there. Uh, I, for one, will be looking at seeing how I can get some for my schools and seeing what we can do. That looks absolutely brilliant. Uh, by the way, if you're interested in purchasing it, uh, the place to go is redfernelectronics.co.uk forward slash crumble. Um, the other thing that's worth having a look on here is they do these lovely little things called sparkles as well. But I'll let you look up those yourself.